Good evening, sir. Good evening. Yeah. We're live. Okay. Okay. So we'll just wait for two minutes for the participants to enter and then okay. we'll start. Sure. Yeah. So good evening everyone and welcome to another master class and I'm Anushree and I'll be your host. So today's session is called Master the Clock, Mastering the Clock and today we'll talk about time and time management and all that. So for all those who are new here, let me introduce you to LMI. So Leadership Management International. Uh, so LMI is a global leader in organizational and leadership development. And it was founded in 1966. And the mission is to develop leaders and organizations to their full potential. So they have experience over 60 years and programs uh, in over 25 languages and 90 plus countries. So they cover various aspects of leadership, uh, including personal productivity, then uh, motivational leadership, strategic leadership, and executive coaching. Too. So LMI has helped thousands of leaders and organizations improve their performance and succeed. And now I'll be introducing to our speaker, Mr. Devashish Madhvandar. So Hi. hello, sir. So Devashish Madhvandar, he's like the director of CV Learning, and he's also an operational expert in syndicated market research, and he has worked extensively in. South Asia, Southeast Asia, Asia Pacific, and Europe. So, as an alumni of ISI Bangalore, his passion for learning and development extends beyond his professional pursuits. He is a certified coach and facilitator of LMI, and his coaching and training expertise has helped countless individuals and organizations to reach their full potential. So, thank you so much, sir. First of all. Thank you. Thank you, Anushree, for the introduction. So, firstly, let's start with the topic itself. So, time. So, like, why is time important? Okay, great question. Yeah, because um, time actually is your most important position. Because uh, your time is your life. Uh, and what is we have seen is that we need to continuously use this time in the activities to reach our goals and our aspirations and also our dreams. So, so that is why time is so important. And we have to use this available time for not only creative dreaming and planning, but also take adequate rest, use it, use it for physical fitness. So everything has to be done within the time that we have. So, uh, and the time at our disposal is your entire time capital. So, so that's why time is so important. And you cannot borrow time. You cannot hold time. You cannot even work harder to get more time. Right? We all have 24 hours. That is the equality which uh, God has given to everybody. Yeah. So we have to make most of it and we have to use it as a time capital. So, and also... Uh, we also see that uh, there's a lot of uh, wasted time. So we cannot afford the luxury of wasting time also. So we have to have not only sort of bit work harder, but even be more smarter. So hard work is extremely important, but also being more smarter is also important. And we have to use the time to our added advantage and to our strength. Thank you for that. Now, my next question is, what is time management? Okay, okay. So, uh, I would say that uh, time management uh, principle 
simplicity is key because uh, what we have seen is that sometimes we set up very complex system for managing our time and actually we are spending more time to maintain the system rather than uh, actually getting more out of what we have so so we have to really understand what is that we need to accomplish and in a day what is that we will feel happy that this is this day has gone well so once we are very clear on that then i think the time management falls into the picture so uh, there is a concept which we had discussed if you remember last time we had discussed something on hpa high payoff activities yeah so so yes so time management is strongly linked with your hpa high payoff activities because because we need to be very clear what is the task we need to accomplish first and then only we can we move on to anything else right so most of the time please understand that time is wasted in not in hours but in minutes so so we need to be very careful of the minutes that we are suddenly spending minutes that we are spending chatting with somebody and we we realize that, okay 10 to 15 minutes have just gone by and we have not been productive so so we have to consider blocks of time we have to consider scheduling of the time Uh, so that is something which is as part of your time management yeah so on that note we have a lot of people nowadays saying that okay we don't have time to do this we don't have time to do that so like why is that happening and how do we solve it okay yes i think uh, uh, because currently your phone your email your posts on social media your messages instant messaging all are taking lot of time isn't it yeah so, uh, yeah so i am so uh, managing communication itself is now critical now it is like do we need to respond everything immediately we get a email a notification we get a message notification the tendency is that we immediately start looking at it or maybe even responding to it so that that is something we we need to have a self discipline so again for the time uh, we need to be disciplined we need to have a very sort of scheduling time if we have scheduled the time then are we really following it so that is extremely important yeah so your time priorities your discipline are extremely important and uh, also what is important is that once we have set the priorities and we have set priorities depending on our high pay of activities so are we following it uh, to the t so that is and i think what we have seen is that and what uh, i have also sort of uh, come across when we are talking to other participants uh, it it is not easy it becomes difficult because there are a lot of external pressures which is there social media is a distraction also it is adding to the 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 sort of the time that you are spending but there are other pressures which is also coming in the day i think email is the biggest thing most quite a significant amount of our time 50 to 60% of our day may be spending in going through emails or responding to emails oh, that's uh, a lot <laughs> that's a lot yes that's a lot and uh, lmi has given a very for uh, very simple uh, uh, philosophy of how do you handle emails they they are calling it as a 4d strategy to handle emails so what is the 4d strategy you first decide maybe then you delete then you maybe you delegate and then also you can defer so this four d decide del delete delegate and defer can also really take care of your email handling also because as said social media email so this is taking lot of our time so if you really handle it well i think uh, we will be doing a good job for our time so for all those who were in present in the last lectures can you tell us a bit more about high pay of activities okay okay yeah so high pay of activities is actually uh, if you remember we had said that it follows pareto uh, yeah so pareto is on the 80 20 uh, principle so you need to get uh, what is that you need to do so can you identify your key five to six activities which will at least give you 80% of the results which you are really looking for or 80% of the uh, things which your organization is looking forward to uh, getting it from you uh, so that is uh, one very simply one can say are your high pay of activities 
So once you decide your high payoff activities, you'll also find that you're also involved in many low payoff activities. Now you cannot suddenly stop all your low payoff activities. You, you have to make a plan to sort of either eliminate or delegate those low payoff activities, but your focus has to remain on your high payoff activities. So that is, I would say, um, you uh, arrive at your HPA or your high payoff activities. So like uh, before we continue with more questions, I would like the uh, attendees to ask the questions in the chat. So we'll also answer them. Yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah. And uh, uh, moving on to the next question. Uh, what is like prioritization? And give us some tips about prioritization. Okay. So prioritization actually is quite simple. It helps you to decide what are the tasks you should complete on the day. But then it becomes complicated because you are getting additional tasks, you are getting additional pressure, pressures on the day, right? So, so how do you meet that? Right? The time is limited. You have to handle your time more efficiently. And within this time, you have to prioritize and complete the task. So once you are very clear on which tasks you need to sort of complete for the day, that becomes your HPA. And that becomes also sort of something you need to put it as part of your plan. So, so that is the prioritization. The focus always has to be whatever you have planned for the day, are you able to complete in the day? And something which comes later, uh, can it be pushed to the next day? So the urgency and importance are critical parameters of your prioritization. So are there any frameworks for prioritization? Yes, I think uh, there are many frameworks for prioritization. Uh, there is one uh, framework which is known as ABCD. Uh, quite simple, ABCD. Uh, remember, we just talked about HPA. Uh, LMI has introduced something which is known as the imperative and important. Now, many people may not have heard what is imperative. Actually, imperative is the are the tasks which is aligning to your high payoff. So, so in, in terms of your prioritization, you should always complete your imperative in the day. And if you have time, you can move to the important. So, so that is one way. Another way is of ABCD, ABA stands for must do. B is should do. If you get a chance, you can do. C is can be pushed for a few days. And D is for defer, delete, or delegate. So that is another way. Uh, for prioritization. Uh, there is another extremely, uh, LMI has come out something which is known as a conference planner. Now, this is a unique concept because what we have found is that we spend a lot of time calling up people. And we may call the same uh, person maybe two to three times in a day. We don't even realize that the other person's productivity may also be getting impacted. I may be senior. So I have a tendency to just pick up the phone and call and get a clarification without realizing that person is also doing something and he or she is getting impacted, right? So it generally it takes uh, 10 to 15 minutes to go back to the same level of concentration if your sort of task gets interrupted. So, so, uh, so what is that we need to plan? We need to plan that can we call that person only once in a day and can we cover all the points? So that is like a great technique of prioritization and also your, your time management is also happening and you are saving on time and you are being more efficient. And this is also maybe a part of your smart working smarter and not just working harder, right? So, so imperative, important, planning your calls uh, and whether you're using ABCD method to prioritize a day. So these are all uh, extremely important. Even uh, something... Uh, which I think the president of USA is uh, sort of created it, Eisenhower Matrix. Yeah, so I think Eisenhower Matrix is another tool for the prioritization. So again, it actually focuses on the urgent and important. Uh, in many organizations, I've seen people proudly say that, yes, we are always into the urgent and important box, but that is not a good sign. That means either you are firefighting or you are into crisis management, you should always be into the not urgent and the important box, which is what? Which is planning and scheduling. So 
So in prioritization, that box is critical. And that is where we should be leading to. That is where we should be walking towards to. And so I have one more uh, question, which is quite important to a lot of people, which is like saying no. So <laughs> <laughs> how to politely and uh, assertively decline the request. So like you're already committed to a certain task. But right. then, you know, so how to I say no? Yes, I think uh, saying no, uh, we don't say no because uh, there's a bit of part of our culture and part of our conditioning that we don't say no to our parents, uh, maybe to our elders, maybe to even to our seniors, we may not be saying no. And we are highly, uh, one, one way is that, is that we are not used to saying no. Uh, the second aspect is a bit of... Uh, there's a bit of a psychological element to it. We don't say no because we don't like hearing no. So, so if my junior says no to me, I will not like that. <laughs> so that's why I am also not saying no to my seniors. And I don't expect uh, hearing no from my juniors. So that is also something which is happening. But yes, you mentioned something that saying no has to be done in a very polite way. We cannot be blunt in saying no. Uh, we have to be very polite and it has to be backed up with a lot of facts. So if I am working on high payoff activity or it is very an imperative, right? Imperative versus important. I am working on imperative task. Then surely I can say no. And, uh, and I can sort of tell them that, okay, uh, this is what I am doing. And that is why I'm not able to handle your request. But if your senior says that's absolutely okay, I'm okay with you not working in this and the implication of delay is perfectly, I will handle that. Then you can really move on to your the, the task which you are being asked for. But yes, if you're working on your imperative and high payoff, uh, you need to say no to, to protect your productivity and to protect your time. Please understand you also need to protect your time also. So these today's topics, time and productivity actually can be sort of helped by saying no uh, to, to maybe something which is not really important uh, for you. So uh, we actually got a question. Okay. Okay. Uh, and do, uh, we know, do we know the name or no? Okay, I think we'll, let's go to the question. Fine. <laughs> yeah. So it is uh, how the time and priorities are correlated with each other. Yeah. So the time and priorities are correlated due to the concept of one is on HPA, high payoff activity, which is follows the Pareto. So we need to understand the Pareto and we need to create our high payoff tasks. It also aligns on the imperative versus important. We should always be focusing on our imperative for the day. And we have a sort of extra time, then we can move to the important. It also comes from the fact that we are maybe working nine hours a day. We should also be improving our personal efficiency. Can we complete our tasks, which we have been doing in nine hours in eight and a half? after a period, maybe in eight hours. So what is happening is that you are getting additional 30 minutes to one hour a day, which is significant, which is significant amount of time to work on your anything else which you feel. It is not that you have to work only for the organization. You can work on your hobby. You can work on anything else which you feel is important for you. Because end of the day, we are all pushing towards realizing our dream and aspirations. That is important. We should... We should not forget that, right? For that, yes, we need to manage our time. We need to prioritize. So I think, I hope uh, this answers uh, the, the query. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you for the question. So is there anyone with doubts? 
So do you have more questions? Because uh, these two topics are uh, critical topics because uh, not just for uh, a leader, it is critical for even for, for a one who is starting the journey is even critical for those who are in colleges and moving to the higher studies. Everything is because they everybody has those who will manage their time well will do a lot of more activities, right? So, so that is what is important because in today's world, if you really manage your time well, then you are already a step ahead of the others who is not managing the time well. So, so it is important that we are very absolutely clear that in today's, in for, for today, these are my areas of focus and I should be working on them and I should be completing them. So I think that is uh, the mantra for <laughs> for doing the yeah. time management here. Yeah. yeah. And like it is increasingly difficult uh, in today's world to manage time because of social media. Absolutely. So uh, the distractions has to be avoided. You need not respond immediately to every mail, to every message. Uh, you can schedule time. You can have blocks of your time and you can prioritize your time. And you can, and that's how you will manage your time. So uh, we have one more question by Mr. Dipen. He says that Please recommend one book on this topic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I think uh, I think uh, book doesn't. Uh, I am not able to recollect a book which I can recommend now. But maybe we can get back to him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I would say that um, this one book by James Clear, which is on atomic habits. Right, so atomic habits is actually helps you to to sort of get to new habits, and once you are getting into new habits, you are also managing your time and priorities also. Because end of the day, we should be very clear on the goals that we are focusing on and pushing for. So I would recommend atomic habits to because what it says is that a small marginal improvement every day makes. At the end of the year, it's a quantum improvement. It's a significant uh, improvement. So, so, and for that, we need to be persistent and we need to be disciplined. Uh, and, and for time, these two keys are extremely important. We have to be very disciplined uh, if you want to manage our time. And now we have one more question by okay. uh, Mr. Krishnadan Ruvadia. So okay. he's... <laughs> Uh, is there any relationship between ownership and prioritization? Okay, okay. Uh, no, I think once you have decided on your high payoff, it is you are the owners of those activities, right? So uh, it's it is you who are responsible for those critical five to six tasks. Uh, I put it in a uh, bluntly that you are getting a salary for that. Most of your salary you are getting because of those tasks. Yeah. So, uh, so that ownership automatically comes. And then if you are prioritizing the tasks well, then you will be completing the day to day because in the beginning what I said, you should feel happy at the end of the day that today's day went well because most of your imperative tasks or your the focus that you wanted to complete has been done. So, so I think uh, I would an, like to answer in that way. Yeah, the ownership would come from your high payoffs, and the prioritization would actually help you to complete the tasks on a day-to-day -day basis. And uh, okay, so let's start. Uh, let's take the last question. I would say because we are short on time. So. Uh, Mr. Gangadhar, he says that for a leader, how time management will be important in professional life? So I think whatever we discussed till now was all about a leader only. So because a leader has to manage time well, because a leader has to be a role model. A leader manages the time well, the team reporting team will automatically manage the time well. So because there is a bit of a cascading effect. 
Now, I as a leader do not come on time for a meeting. I am sending out a very wrong signal. So I need to manage my time for the meetings also. I, if to every meeting I cannot be late by 10 minutes or 15 minutes because I was completing my preceding task and, yeah. then, there is, and then there is a cascading effect of a delay. No, I have to have that discipline that this is, I have a meeting at this, so I need to stop now and I need to be on time for that meeting. So that is one thing. It has a cascading effect for my, for the juniors. They learn from a leader. A leader has to be a role model. And once, and, and the most significant time, uh, sort of aspect for a leader is that, how do you improve the personal efficiency? Can you do more with the same uh, lesser number of hours? I think that is where a leader uh, plays a critical role. That is where the leader will derive more because the leader generally, uh, your question was that we do not have enough time in the day. Yeah. Now we need to get the time. We need to get that 40 minutes to one hour every day so that we can strategize and we can plan ahead uh, because uh, day to day we are not getting that focus and getting that time. So, uh, so I think I would uh, say uh, so these are the two aspects which I think the leader uh, can really benefit from this time. So uh, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, and uh, so let's end the session now. Okay, okay, fine. Thank, thank you. So you. And uh, I think uh, look forward to interacting with you, Anushree, maybe in another topic, in another, another session. Topic, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Thank you. Bye. And thank Bye. you, Anushree. Yeah. Bye. Yeah.